Hello everybody, my name is Tokreva and welcome back to our Let's Play of Great Britain in Europa Universalis 4, The Conquest of Paradise DLC, and this is episode number 16, and we are quite uh, in debt, or getting there at least, because we have decided to reform to Protestantism without any actual Protestantism present in the country. Yeah, well, it's slowly rega regaining our religious unity. We have really, really quick uh, uh, missionary. That's the word. Jeez, it's getting late for me. Recording late sometimes. Just you, you wait around, watch other stuff that's happening, which is also very interesting to watch, and then it takes a while before you actually get to recording stuff. But anyway, yeah, it does less than one and a half years to convert most of the provinces, and then it's less than two years, so we'll eventually get there. London will most likely be the last one, or it will be the Shetlands, actually, that's more likely. But well, something else I noted was something really silly when I loaded in, and that's Pomerania. So they lost for Pomeran to Bohemia. Wow, it's actually on the screen. But they gained Ostpreussen, Kovno, Trakai, and Podlasi. I'm like, this is such a weird Pomerania. No, it, it really is. If you go to Diplomacy, they are allied with Lüneburg and Russia. Hello, Russia. That's a big Russia. And Aragon is eating up Castile. And I always tend to have that happen in my games. It's really odd. Anyway, um, yeah, we're not getting any more advisors right now because of the money we are already losing. But let's hope we get some more swift uh, missionary work done so we can do other stuff. My king, the Pope, has called for a crusade against Morocco. I could do one thing. Uh, it costs me one loan to do it. Would be to... Um, whoa, that changed dramatically. Uh, one thing I could do is get the Defender of the Faith title. It will uh, get me an extra missionary, uh, more morale on all my armies, as well as war exhaustion reduction, and oh, here it is, uh, yearly prestige, and only for 500 ducats and yearly prestige, no, what am I saying, for technology cost, but that's about it. But for now, let's just keep it like this. Colonial border conflict. Where to begin? It seems that the settlers from Newfoundland have ventured into Muncie, a province of 13 colonies. Hmm, over here. Uh, in search of new land and resources. 13 colonies then sent their militia to drive them out, but they got overzealous and pursued the settler back into Ottawa, raiding and burning. The conflict then escalated when Newfoundland sent their militia to drive out the 13 colonies militia and carried out raids of their own into Muncie. Uh, governor of 13 Colonies, Anthony Baffin, is blaming the governor of Newfoundland, Archibald Cromwell, and vice versa. How do we solve this without losing face? Uh, we could let them sort it so out themselves out. We would lose 24 prestige. We would remove uh, the governor of the 13 Colonies, which gives them a huge liberty desire. But Newfoundland would reduce their liberty desire interestingly so this is uh, the other one is vice versa or you could sort out their differences for 50 diplomatic power um, it seems as the settlers from Newfoundland ventured into Muncie yeah that that's definitely the fault of Newfoundland so I'm going to remove Cromwell so now it's James Clarence, a 234. That's actually a better one than you usually get at the start. He's a diplomat. So, yeah, um, Colonial Assembly. Our colony, Newfoundland, has decided to form their own assembly in order to take control of tax legislation and budgets. They claim that these matters are better handled locally, but it seems suspiciously, suspiciously like a first step towards independence. I think that's an event that triggers when they're at like 25 ish percent, maybe. Anyway, it is indeed suspicious, and that dropped them back to 24%. Okay, I have no idea what it exactly means in-game for us, but for now it means they they instantly reduced their uh, desire to be uh, 
Liberty is yeah, and this will go up to twenty. Um, improvements spare no expense, please. I still have ten percent, point ten percent reduction every freaking year anyway. So let's have a quick look at the colonial map mode. So we have Louisiana, three available provinces, and a couple in the Caribbean. I think I want to uh, finish the Caribbean first. As in, you can e we are it's easier for us to get a nation around here. Of course, once one colonist is going to finish up uh, Newfoundland for them, that's a sure thing. We have managed to convert Norfolk, which is great. Which means we get more. Uh, Green Coast is the one we don't need. Um, Ayrshire is here. Where's Cumbria? That's over there. Gwynedd is here. Uh, we'll just start on Glasgow, basically. Let's convert them to Protestantism. Okay, I'm not gonna... I'm not... I'm saying I'm not gonna do the accent anymore, but I'll probably forget and I'm gonna do the accent in the future again. Um, where can we build a level 2? That's interesting. Oh, right there, but yeah, that will in the future become a colony. Oh, Portugal has like 9,000 troops. Well, New Portugal does. And this will actually soon also become its own state. And the religious turmoil in Bavaria. That's good for them. Will take a while with us. Let's see what's our 24% unity now. Still 4.8. Well, we can go like quite a few months. Um... Whoa! Oh no, that's natives lose size. Uh, settlers attempt to attempt to assuage their pain. The maltreatment of the indigenous people, in combination with previously unfamiliar diseases brought by the settlers, has decimated the native population of Lakota. Attempt to assuage their pain, definitely. Actually, inclined to go to uh, go beat Castile up over this place, Lesser Namaqua land. Because this is definitely silly of them. Trade dispute against Portugal. Of course they do. How is Aragon? Do we not have an alliance with them? So if I go to Castile, I could declare war allied with France and Portugal. And they're together in a war with Aragon. How is that even possible? Whoa. Suddenly they don't like us anymore. They were like just above zero before. Now they are totally... Huh. They must have decided to rival us at one point. At least they're an administrator. Uh, the province of Leinster is the culture we desire. Chief religious unity. Yeah, that will be a while. Um, colonize the Caribbean. I think I actually... Yeah, this is a... Isn't that the Caribbean then? No, that is. Huh. Gain a foothold? Not yet. Let's do this then. I mean, I have a province in the Caribbean, but... I guess I need an actual colony in the Caribbean first, so... That will probably be St. Lucia then, just getting the uh, coastal areas. Pequot, uh, Abenaki, Mobile... Pequot, Abenaki, Micmac, Mahican, Poetan, Iroquois, Shawnee, Potawatomi, Fox Cree, and Ottawa. And I think that's a Euron underneath here that's been hiding from us. And as uh, people have pointed out, this is not pronounced Tuskegee as I've done said previously. It's Tuskegee. It's not the pronunciation you would expect, personally. But Tuskegee, well, sure, I will... Uh, take it at face value especially when you look it up on the interwebs and stuff like wikipedia also says it's probably tuskegee so okay i'm going to rival portugal because they are basically our rivals and castile is actually as well not so sure about france really catholic zealots and lincoln it's okay it doesn't slow down our missionary Go ahead, kill them off. Wipe them out. All of them. 
I do feel I have to start taking more lands here as well, though. That's a ford, though. That's actually a good province to have, regardless. Ungrateful natives of Lakota. Yeah, colonist will work it. There they go. Well, not the actual colonists, but they will work it. You have enough exploration ideas to have a settler. Why is it not working? Can't you have a settler running around? Oxfordshire. They sh I hope they don't come as quickly now because it... Oh. I see. Huh. Oh well, we'll keep running around. So yeah. The only way to get extra missionaries is either Defender of the Faith or... Uh, religious idea it's the only one you get one from and other than that you have some of the national ideas probably give them to you maybe Spanish ideas might be they have eight in total we have seriously we have 18 already well France has 15 they don't have any colonization ideas yet though which is good 16 here religious very high Wow Castile has religious, Portugal has religious, interesting. France does not. They have economic, aristocratic, and naval. Oh my. Yeah, we're gonna have to expand our naval ideas soon again. Well, we need more diplomatic power, obviously. Uh, improved drainage, plantations. Ah, more heretics converted. Uh, next is Cumbria, then. That rises our religious unity by 1.8%. Oh, uh, that's so much. Not really, but it's something. Yeah, I think the lower ones are, you, even though you convert them quicker, those are actually less impactful on your total uh, score in uh, religious unity. But we're doing the west coast of the isle. Looking more and more blue. It would be nice though to get some more random ones that are just pop. Uh, you know what? Since how much is it? 226, and we are seven years ahead without a. Yeah, I'm gonna boost stability. Fish in Lakota. If it isn't fish. Crimea and the Ottomans against Lithuania. Crimea is big. Taking a lot from uh, Poland as well. Wow. Hope they're not like in the middle of a religious a unity. No, they're not. They're not in a union, which is good. I've uh, at times seen Crimea go become a union under the Ottomans, and that's this. This Crimea would then be really scary if they were to get integrated at one point. Sweden likes us very much. Let's keep it up. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this should have increased our conversion rate. Should now, well, just one month, so. But it's something. And it reduces our revolt risk by 1% across the board as well. I did upgrade London by a long time. Um, 13 colonies. We could tax it. Hang on. I think we can definitely tax it once. So, 22.2. Still loving us over there. Yeah, we could use a little bit more money over from them. From all of them, actually. Oh, well. When they have a greater army, yeah. Huh. We have 29 and another 8 here. So, unlikely that they'll have a larger army in the near future. Uh, London, 59. That was like 83, I think. At at one plus one stability. Saunders is back. The guy from Sweden is coming back, which is Frobisher. Bohemia, do we? Wow, we actually have r room to do this. Let's do it. I mean, we're all Protestant, so sure thing. Why not? And Inu is self-sustaining colony. That's really good. Um, pirates over there. Maybe we should go and take them out for them. You'll only become more and more of a nuisance anyway. You there. Um, let's go there. 
And you can come home again to London. Okay, so Inu is part of Newfoundland again. Where do I want to go first? I cannot go here, that's like barely out of range. But once we get Lakota, it will be in range. Huh, not mind blocked anymore. Which is fine. Um, Timukua, we could do it. Yeah, I'm not afraid that anyone can reach this right now, so... Closest where the port is Connaught. Huh. That's quite... Yeah, I don't think that France doesn't even have the skill yet. I'm gonna go to Little Karoo for now. I'm gonna set up the colony in South Africa a little bit bigger. So... That should be fine. Yorkshire... Captain something. Yes. Oh, yes. We are leading our troops ourselves. Interestingly enough. Oh, yes. Because we have already got one leader too many. Going around. That's true. Okay, how is the Red Squadron? Oh, yes. Our naval... Oh, maintenance is quite low. Maybe we can increase this a little bit. Because I just saw us go into positive uh, already. And now, right now we're not positive balance because of uh, repairs to... Yeah, indeed. Let's uh, up our naval maintenance a little. That should increase our trade in income as well. So, let's see how much that will change. If at all. Yeah, it does. So, slow, we can slowly increase our fleet maintenance, probably, to a point where we can actually maintain ourselves again there. And it means that our fleets down in South Africa are actually repairing as well. Which is a good sign. Is that Terry and Cognita? Dang. Yay, more ungrateful natives in Lakota. Oh, that's a big one. St. Bartholomew. Unlock. Um, colonial regions. Yeah, there's also the Caribbean. Oh, Cherokee is actually not... Ah, but that's a second settler they're using there. Okay, Cumbria converted. Let's go Gwinnett. There we go. So with this place, it will actually become a new nation. And weird looking one at that. They might be a little bit... Um, yeah, intimidated by us here. So we are going to have to spread to St. Lucia after Lakota, definitely. How's our money flow? Yeah, it's getting better. And better. We can slowly reach our fleet maintenance until our actual trade. You know what? Let's just put it here and see what happens. You never know. Probably now we really will be losing money again, but... 4.7, that's actually not that bad. Actually to this point here. Now we're at plus one, let's see what it becomes next month. And our inflation, well, yeah, inflation is going down slowly anyway. Terrace point two. Ah, eh, slight. But at least this means our ships are repairing. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Means I can explore a little bit more around here. And all this range, supply range, really sucks at times. There we go. Another colony. 88 every year, which means nine less than nine years, if uh, because there's a decent settler chance anyway. So. Less than nine years, and we'll actually have another area. Oh wow, our diplomats are really, really not busy anymore. 57, um... Oh right, the Pope moved. Yeah, he doesn't like us, but we can definitely improve relations at least. Bohemia, we can also improve relations. Uh, so, oh, hang on, Kelno. I think the Teutonics took it back. Catalba. 
Oh, that island there. Um, Tunja. That's uh, there. And Giaigil Bay. Okay. So we discovered this area over here. Not bad. There has to be more. Oh, hello. There is a new area that I hadn't discovered before. That's Colonial Brazil. Ah, interesting. Hello, Brazil. No one is on you yet. Good for you. Not even Portugal, which is actually the one that colonized uh, OTL Brazil, of course. Um, plus 11 administrative power. Wow. I mean, we could... We're still six years ahead. Yeah, I think it's actually... We could just do this. I mean... 273 will regain it currently within two years almost yeah let's boost to three for now i mean there's not much else to spend our admin power on right now and this helps with uh the revolts and of course all the um converting that we're doing 13 months now in the green coast 15 in aberdeen and 45 in london actually kent really kent that can't be true. That was bad, I know. And I can't really reduce my maintenance because we would get slaughtered the next time we have rebels. So, yeah. Let's speed it up a little, see what happens. So, little Karu is doing fine, I assume. Kilwa. Kilwa, that's. Huh. So Fala and Kilwa. Okay. Um, yeah. I would really like to get that one. Ooh, festivities. This year looks to be such a prosperous year that Henry VIII, as a gesture of goodwill, has decided to celebrate by arranging various festivities for the locals. Either we gain one stability, but we're at three, or we uh, are going to gain one base tax in the Shetlands. Well... It's a little bit silly to get that in the island chain, that goes from 1 to 2, but still, finally managed to convert heretics, yeah, 45 months is 4 years, less than 4 years, but it would, what, it would be London that we have converted at that point though, and that means a lot more income, yes, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do London, 45 months, and then this bad, oh, England, as we know it, decided on becoming a naval power and instituted the Admiralty as one of its assets. There were also signs of England taking another route, a route toward the continent and land power. Some elements can be found in Cromwell's new model army, but also the question marks of a possible pro-French Stuart dynasty if England had managed to keep some of its French possessions. If that had happened, England would have had much greater interest to defend on the continent than on the high seas. Let us institute the Royal Army? Gets us army tradition and land prestige from land battles, or authorize the admiralty. Wow, it's actually stronger to take the admiralty as well. And since we are, yeah, I'm going for the admiralty. I mean, we're an overseas power already. Probably going to colonize all around the globe and everything. Truly become the um, empire on, on which the sun never sets. And to this date, the sun does not set on the United Kingdom because of one little tiny island in the Pacific Ocean holding out against all odds against the sun. Yeah, that was a little bit of a um, reference to Asterix, one of the funniest and best comics uh, for, for the youth, really, though. But there are probably funnier adult comics, and I'm not talking about pornographic stuff of them. But the Daka feud, ooh, interesting, no idea what it is. Um, our producers become complacent as our use of Smithian and Commons led to our production techniques being so advanced. So, gain one inflation, yep. We can afford it, we have the technology to reduce it quickly. Well, 12 years, 10 years worth of the, but still. Wow, or uh, we could do this a little bit more and gain a little bit more trade power and therefore money. 
Oh yes, our ships can explore a little bit further around here. And wait, wait. There you go. Lakota is self-sustaining. It's very good for us. Then we need to go to Saint Lucia for now. I think we will have to take Wyndo at one point as well, though. Martinique would also be useful. Rain Coast. Dang. Worst place for zealots to... Are they seriously being funded by... Well, ah, they like... Um, that's Newfoundland, actually, that they like. Wow. This is annoying. You know what? I'm going to send the force of... 10 over there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3. Uh, you are attaching to the ships. I'm going to send these guys here. And then I'm going to convert them next after London. Just get it over with. Okay, he's taking a very dangerous route, I suppose. Yeah, Iberian Shelf. Wait. Slaves in Little Karoo. Trading commodity since antiquity. Okay. Lorraine has civil disorder. What what religion is that in Lorraine? This Lorraine, wow, they have one province reformed. And they have civil disorder. It's a big Lorraine though. It's silly, silly, uh France is quite um what's the uh, homogenous, I think it's the right word. Hey, where are my ships? Oh, they already are there. I suppose. I really could use... Okay, we are actually making mo making decent money. Interesting. Quite a lot. What is this? I don't even... Stopped relations with Bohemia. Come on, Howard. Poland. Ah, uh, yeah, let's improve relations with Poland. Russia. Hmm. Scary big Russia. Okay, let's improve relations with you as well. So. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. When are you arriving in Santa Lucia? Ah, right there, right now. No, the mission? No. What's the mission now? Hang on a minute. At least one province in the Caribbean owned by Great Britain. We own one in the Caribbean, don't we? It's a colonial route. I mean, wait, wait. A golden era for culture. Nice. Also, um, Baffin would gain... You know what? Even though I don't want to lose prestige, we just gain some. Let's give them a diplomat candidate for now. I mean, really? Um, this is colonial of the Caribbean. So, why wouldn't it count for the, our mission, then? That's weird really is weird oh well our colony is working ah the Euron oh hang on they annexed the Iroquois they were here like not long ago oh well that happened and yeah it's just a matter of converting stuff and technology Ooh. Diplomatic technology. I will take it. Trade company, naval equipment, manufactory. Grand shipyard next. Local shipbuilding time and cost. Cost goes down. Ooh. I love it. Trunnions isn't very close to finishing. Well, we can do it. Also, administrate if we could do that one. Even though it's three years ahead of its time, it actually gives us. Uh, production efficiency so I'm gonna do it 666 six, six required oh it just turned to two years in a ahead anyway so 
Oh, 666 is not bad. <laughs> production efficiency gives us that little bit of a boost in production. Good for us. Missionaries. Oh, right. They also cost maintenance. Of course they do. Missionaries. Who knew? Um, wait, where are you? Oh, Russia, I think. Yeah, I like... I didn't recognize the symbol. Kari Karaibas. That's, uh... Karaibas. That's Portuguese colony over there. Don't see where their colonist is going right now, so that's interesting. Um... New Portugal? No, I don't need to do that. Can... How about... Not the same religion group, damn it, support independence, influence, establish protectorate, uh, opinion, huh, wow, for, if our opinion is better, we might be able to get them into a protectorate, but protectorate you cannot annex, which is annoying, also, people on the Shetlands are revolting, which means I have to collect my ships down here, and I will send them home, anyway, I want to... Thank you all for watching. I will see you guys later.